What if I told you a nine-year-old could help stop climate change? Why would a nine-year-old care? Well, that nine-year-old was me, and I care because I love animals. My favorite animal is the North American river otter, but I love all animals, really. I'm 11 now, but when I was nine, I read this article by the Environmental Protection Agency that said if the Earth keeps getting warmer, up to one-fourth of all plants and animals could be extinct within the next 100 years. That terrified me. The climate over the last 20 years has been heating up faster than ever recorded in the history, and we may only have as little as seven years to stop this current climate crisis. This is a worldwide problem that affects everyone. One of the big reasons that this is happening is because we use too many sources of energy that are harmful to the environment, like coal and petroleum. And we may not realize it, but every day we do many things that are contributing to climate change. Some big companies are doing their part in helping solve this issue. For example, Microsoft pledged to be carbon negative by 2030. British Petroleum wants to be net zero by 2050 or sooner. And Idaho Power has become one of the first publicly owned power company, energy companies to set a goal to reach 100% clean energy, which they plan to do by 2045. But in order to meet these ambitious goals, they're gonna need big solutions. And even then, we cannot depend on a few people or companies to solve this. Every individual, every group, every team, everyone needs to come together and think of innovative solutions to this climate crisis. I wanted to help. I've always loved creating and inventing. The first invention I came up with was in second grade. I entered this competition called the Invention Convention. The Invention Convention is a competition where students identify a problem and come up with a solution through creating an invention. That year, I made it to the regional competition. The next year, I entered again and made it to the state competition, and I won second place. But there's this even bigger level, the national competition, and it was my dream to make it to that. So when I was nine and learned about climate change, I knew I wanted to do something to help. So I decided to do what I've been doing for the past two years, create and invent. And that's when I thought of solar lines. Solar lines are power lines that have flexible solar panels wrapped around them. First, I identified the problem, climate change. And then I thought about why this is happening. One of the big reasons that this is happening is because we use too many sources of energy that are harmful to the environment. So then I thought about sources of energy that are clean. Solar power is one of the cleanest and most abundant renewable sources of energy. Some of the houses in my neighborhood have solar panels on their roofs, but not very many do, because they can be expensive, and most people get their energy from the power lines. Power lines distribute a lot of energy every day, but most of it is not from clean sources. I don't have solar panels on my roof either, and it bothered me that I didn't have a way to access these clean and renewable sources of energy. So then I thought, what if we could make power lines distribute and generate these sources of energy so that me and lots of other people can access clean energy? And then it came to me. We need to combine the two, solar power and power lines. And that's how I thought of solar lines. Most of the energy we use in the United States is non-renewable. And of the limited renewable energy that we do use, only 1% of it is solar power. So it made me wonder, if solar power is such a clean source of energy, why do we use so little of it? Well, I think it's because it's not widely available. If it were more accessible, people would use it. And since most people currently get their energy from the power lines, solar lines would greatly increase the amount of solar power that people use all over the world by combining the existing infrastructure of power lines with solar panels. 
I had to do a lot of research, and I came up with several variations of my concept. For example, I knew I wanted to combine the generation of solar power directly with the distribution. So my first thought was to attach standard solar panels to the power lines. But through further research, I became aware of technology that allowed for wrapping the solar panels. So then I decided to wrap flexible solar panels around the power lines. Some other modifications that I made along the way were adding insulation that would cool down the power lines so that the flexible solar panels could be wrapped around and a battery pack on the side that will take in any extra energy on overly sunny days and distribute that energy on days that are less sunny. There are over 3,000 power companies in the US and over 5.5 million miles of power lines. Since power lines are already built, once you add the flexible solar panels to them, solar power will be brought right to people's houses. Innovations like solar lines could help power companies and overall energy users meet their clean energy goals, ultimately helping stop climate change. After a lot of hard work and determination, I did make it to the National Invention Convention, and there I won the Stanley Black & Decker Sustainability Award. It was very exciting, and I'm really proud of that award but I know that big problems are gonna require lots of solutions. It is gonna take many more new ideas and adaptations of inventions like mine to solve the problems that my generation is gonna face. Problems like climate change. When it comes to solving problems, no matter what age you are, you can help. Find the problem that you care about and start brainstorming. For me, it made me mad that something that we were doing was harming the environment. And it made me even more mad that we weren't doing enough to try and stop it. Whether they are big ideas or small ideas, we are all going to need to do our part. I came up with the solar lines concept when I was nine. And I'm going to keep on creating and inventing. If I can do it, so can you. No matter what age you are, whether you're nine or 90. I believe that we can solve any problem as long as we all care enough to try, ne never give up, and work together to come up with solutions. So what will you do? Thank you.